as a player, you absolutely love playing for a guy like that, but you mm -hmm. think his aggressiveness, Craig, will, will hurt him in the long run. No, I don't. Uh, it's a game-by-game -game kind of scenario, right? And to be totally honest and fair, before he decides to go for it, I'm yelling at the TV, come on, Dad, not now. Kick the field goal. Take the lead. It's a 38-yard field goal. I know your defense is all banged up and not great, but you can defend 30 yards in 40 seconds, right, and keep Green Bay for sure out of the end zone. And I'm pretty sure stop them from uh, moving the ball 40, 50 yards, whatever it might have been, to try to tie the game. But then they went for it. Right. And they got the first down. And I'm like, that's my guy. That's why I love Dan Campbell. And the beauty of this play, I guarantee you that if you ask the Green Bay Packers defensive players, did you know what they were going to run? The answer is, yeah. Run the ball to the right side of their line, the strength of their offensive line, hat on a hat, we got to you know, get inside there mm -hmm. and make a play. And on that play, they were just better than us. And that's what I love about it. It wasn't uh, quirky. It wasn't, let me pick a play out of the blind bag and hope that it works. It was, this is what the strength of my offense is. And I'm going to live and die with those guys making a play. Absolutely. They win, they win by it. They lose by it. We saw it last year in the postseason against the 49ers. He was aggressive then. He's not going to change who he is. Whether he's up, he talked about this in his presser. Being up, we could be up two touchdowns. We could be down two touchdowns. We're not going to change who we are. And you got to love that as a player. For me, like... I thought it was a great call because the the Packers you were. You did. I actually did. Okay. Because the Packers had in the second half of that game they were moving the ball. The the yep. drive yep. before that they moved the ball easily down the field on that defense. When you have a heartbeat on a, a grasp of who you are, you do those types of things. You know, okay, our defense we got to help them out. He prepared his team. He communicated that we were going to be more aggressive in this match because of what we were dealing with defensively. So you. You can make those type of calls in that type of game. I thought it was a great call. Yeah, I've sat with him on several occasions just talking about his fourth down tendencies, why he does it, and ultimately, he's authentically Dan Campbell. Yeah. And I always say when you're hiring a coach, one of the most important things you can do, one of the most important things you can hire is authenticity. Yeah. So when you come in there and you're saying, like, you know, the Belichick tree, like, hey, this is the way we did it in New England, the yeah. Patriot way, this, that, and the other. Man, that stuff, players look at you and go, come on, dude, be you. I don't need to hear what. Can I just what? ask you a quick question? Yeah. I'm sorry to say my brain works. You and Dan Campbell go out for steak. Are there utensils on the table? No, <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> we just use the bone. Yeah. Make sure it's a bone in. Right? <laughs> but, but, like, he is who he is. And yeah. one of the things he told me is it's important that my guys know exactly what we're going to do and that they, we have done it so many times that they don't flinch. Fourth down, for me, if I'm playing in that game, fourth down, for me, it's pucker factor, man. Sure. I am nervous, like, oh, man, i got to come off the ball. i got to get movement, but I can't go too aggressive. Blah, blah, because I haven't done it very much. They do it all the time. It's just part of their nature now. It's become instinctual to them to go for it on fourth down. And I tell you what, like, I don't like it. Like, I'm kicking the field goal, like, 100% of the time. <laughs> But, but they love it, and they love their coach, and they do it well. They do it very well. So this opinion that I will have right now is not going to be the one that goes the most viral. It's not the most definitive. Someone might say I'm fence-sitting. I don't think I am. I watch all of these games. I try to judge it ahead of time, and then I'll just tell you how I feel about it. Like, I thought the last one was insane. I thought that was an insane decision because I thought it. you have to evaluate these things on risk-reward, what you have to gain. What you have to gain by going for it there is you get to kick a field goal as time expires and win the game and not give the ball back to the Packers. But you bring losing into play, right? Like if Jared Goff falls and they get a loss, now it's a tie game and Green Bay, who had been moving the ball, who still had a timeout, can kick a field goal in regulation and Green Bay wins the game. If you just kick the field goal and don't go for it on fourth down, Green Bay, you, you kick off, Green Bay has to go down the field, kick a field goal to tie a game. Like you, so you bring losing into play by doing it. So I would not have done it. But earlier in the fourth quarter, or excuse me, in the, in the second half, there were two other in, really interesting spots. This is fourth and goal. They're down four from yeah. the three-yard line. They go for yep. it, and I liked it. Nick and I were texting back and forth. He hated it. I liked it. Because what you had to gain there is four points. 
You settle for a field goal. And the lead. And, and, and the lead, right? So there's you have the upside is four points. That's a real thing. Then at the very end of the third quarter, they are backed up at their own 31 yard line and they run a toss play to the right. What you have to gain here is you keep the ball, but you don't get points. You're not then in field goal range. You're not then in the red zone. You're certainly not in the end zone. There's no guarantee that if you pick up this fourth down, you're put you're putting points yeah, I hated this on, on the board. I thought right. I thought I thought it was it was reckless, but a lot of people today will come on TV and they will say some version of this is the thing that is going to cost the Lions a chance to win a Super Bowl because of what happened in the NFC Championship game last year, which Dan Campbell admitted he would have done differently if he could do it over. But they also could win a game because yeah, of it. Right. Like they it, have. It, it does, and they have exactly. He is committed to it. Brandon Staley, when he got that Chargers job, he was this. He went for it more than anyone, and all that. And then they stopped converting. And he puckered. He lost his identity. And he lost right, his yeah. identity. And then the players started questioning it. Yep. And so, like, I love aggressiveness. I think Dan Campbell does some really crazy, hyper-aggressive things. Like, he went for that two-point conversion in week 17 last year after the penalty from the seven-yard line. I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, that, that was a completely insane thing. But he is consistent. His players buy in. They might win a playoff game in a Super Bowl because of it. They might lose one because of it. But at least he is who he is, and there's no wavering of it. Right. I think one of the things, and I talked to you guys about this uh, during the, the the course of this show, is offensively, cha- not, not changing your identity, but understanding what your defense is right now. Understanding yeah, where up. you are and how we're going to have to win this game. And we, I talked about it with you guys with Cincinnati. And I know they're scoring a lot of points, but how do you how do you possess the ball? How do you take pressure off your Correct. defense? How do you basically you've got you've got a litany of guys that are injured. You've got guys off the street that were yeah. there for three days that are playing in that game. You knew as a head coach, man, I am going to have to prop up this defense. And that defense actually played really well. They, they, they did. Because in that in that second half, it was a 59-yard throw. To Watson, right? It was the Keyshawn Nixon pick that put him in short yards. And then that crazy fourth down and one from their own 30, which gave them a short field but again. Get offensively, right. like offensively, I didn't think Green Bay played all that well. I thought they had those those three possessions that cost yeah. them 21 points. Cost Look, Detroit 21 I, I know points. Why, we all know why he went for it, because he's trying to keep his offense on the field. And, Correct. you know, you gave up 30 points, you know how it happened. And if I could get a couple yards there, keep a drive going. Whether yeah. I score or not, tick, 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 shorten the game, get my offense more attempts. My only beef with it, if you want to show it again, and I always hate it when teams either do this or they do a fourth and one, fourth and inches out of the shotgun. It drives me crazy. Right. Because on on the the one from the 30, you know, he it's as you said, it's a pitch. Well, just freeze it when he gets the ball. Freeze it right there. So you gotta go one, two, plus five and six from where he gets the ball, seven. So it's fourth and one. And you've now said to your running back, you gotta get me seven yards on fourth and one, right? I hate that. That's so, so well, for me, that's the part the, I would criticize. But right. I, look, I like aggression, right? I want my coach to have a set of cleons that allows yeah. him to say, without fear, I'm going for yeah. it, and I love it. To your point, I hate going east and west on short yardage to get north and south, right? Yeah. I don't like that. The other thing is the strength of your team is the right side of your offensive line behind Penny Sewell, right? We're going to pitch it out to the right, and we're going to rely on wide receivers to get blocks. Yeah. I don't. I, I hate the play call. I, that one's just on me. Yeah, Packers, I want to go straight pass, downhill. Packers, they, yeah. they right. just didn't. Let me let me ask you guys this though: Did the Packers prove anything in this loss to the? Uh, ahead, Greg. To the so so for me, look, I, I, I like what the Packers do. Like they lost to a, a, a really good team on yeah. the road. Like, there's no shame in this loss. However, I think what they didn't prove, or for me, what I, I still am scratching my head a little bit at Jordan Love at times. Yeah. And I mean, he started terribly. He, and, <laughs> he and, was 12 and, of 20 it, in this game. He was. Yeah. He finished He finished a lot better, but there's there was the one play where their first touchdown where he missed the tight end, and they ended up still scoring, but he rushed it. Different things like that. I think they have a really good defense. If they can get healthy with Jair Alexander, all the things, they run the ball really well. This is still a really good team. You go up against a team that is motivated to do something special and they're on a mission. I don't think they proved anything. They proved something to me. 
they're not in the class of Detroit and they're not no. in the class of Philadelphia. That's what they proved to me. So I, I think they can compete. Don't lay your with, Green Bay love. Don't lay your Green Bay love. No, it's, it's cloud your vision. No, it's not clouding my vision okay. because I have the Detroit Lions going to the Super Bowl. Okay. But I think they can compete with any one of these teams in the NFC. I, I agree with you. And listen, I certainly have no Green Bay love in, in my heart. It no, you don't. It pains me to say it. I mean, the Packers offense, when it's clicking, is very, very high level. And it didn't in the first half, and it was a weird start. And, you know, but, like, the last three games, man, they, they still, at the end of the day, they still ended with 31 points on the board. Yeah, on, on a bunch of short yeah. fields. I mean, they had, oh, he was, oh, dead. okay. Love was 12 of 20. And I think Josh, Josh Jacobs had 66 yards for about three point whatever I, yards per carry. I understand. A playoff team, and that's it. They're not winning a Super Bowl. I think they. I, I listen. I'm not picking them to win the Super Bowl, obviously. And now they're going to have to go on the road for multiple playoff yeah. games to get through the NFC to then probably be an underdog with, against whoever comes out of the AFC. They've done that before. But, but, but like. I, 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 I don't have six teams better than them. Well, I think, well, yeah, yeah, well you know. hey there, thank you so much for watching Breakfast Ball. You know, you can subscribe right here to get all the latest bits and segments from our show. And hey, while you're at it, make sure to check out all the amazing content from all the other shows also right here on FS1.